Is this the calm before the storm, or are we standing in the eye of a hurricane? For anyone watching the semiconductor space, specifically AMD, this past week felt like walking a tightrope. We witnessed the stock touch the sky at nearly $196, only to be dragged back down by the gravity of a volatile market. The air is thick with uncertainty, and the recent turbulence in the AI industry has left many investors wondering if the floor is about to drop out or if we are setting up for a slingshot manoeuvre into uncharted territory. But if you look past the red candles and the market noise, there are whispers of something massive brewing behind the scenes. While the price action suggests fear, the fundamental developments suggest a revolution. This week we are peeling back the layers of panic to reveal the hidden mechanics that could define the next chapter. For this company. From secret partnerships to a potential game-changing revelation in Las Vegas, the pieces are moving. The question is, are you watching the price or are you watching the play? Let's begin by decoding a signal that flashed on November 24th, a development that many might have missed amidst the chaos. We received confirmation that AMD is powering the AAI training for a company known as Zifra. Now, on the surface, this sounds like just another corporate press release. But when you dig into the technicals, the implications are profound. This marks the first large-scale mixture of experts model, trained entirely on AMD's ecosystem, specifically the Instinct MI300X GPUs, the Pensando Networking, and the open software solution ROCM. Why does this matter? Because for months, the critics have whispered that AMD's hardware couldn't handle the heavy lifting of Frontier models. Zifra is not a small player. They are an open-source AI research firm based in San Francisco that recently closed a valuation of around $1 billion. Back in October, they entered a tripartite alliance with AMD and IBM to build an AI infrastructure capable of training massive multimodal foundation models. Fast forward to now, and we are seeing the tangible proof of that concept. The training is happening. The hardware is working. This isn't a theoretical slide in a pitch deck. It is a deployment that began in September, with concrete plans for expansion into 2026. While this single piece of news might not send the stock to the moon overnight, it provides the meat behind the narrative. It proves that the attractiveness of these chips extends beyond just the titan-sized companies. We are seeing a real-world use case for frontier model training that validates the technology, setting a precedent that could ripple through the entire industry. This brings us to the uncomfortable conversation about valuation. When we analyze the forward price-to-earnings ratio, AMD is currently sitting at roughly 39.21. To the untrained eye, or perhaps the conservative investor, this looks expensive. It is trading slightly higher than its six-year median, about 10 to 15 percent higher, to be precise. In a fearful market, a high multiple can look like a target on your back. However, you have to ask yourself what this number actually represents. The market is a forward-looking machine. This valuation is pricing in a future that hasn't fully materialized on the balance sheets yet. Consider the massive deal with OpenAI that has been hinted at, that revenue doesn't even begin to truly hit the books until the second half of next year. The opportunity here is one of compression. As those future quarters roll in, and as the revenue from these high-profile deals is realized, that P.E. ratio begins to shrink. The expensive stock of today becomes the bargain of tomorrow, provided the thesis holds. If the OpenAI deals come to fruition as expected, and if the roadmap for the MI350 continues to execute, the current multiples will start to look incredibly attractive. We are essentially paying a premium now for a seat at the table before the main course is served. Now let's shift our gaze to the immediate horizon. 
because something strange is happening in Las Vegas. From December 1st to December 5th, the cloud computing world descends on the city for AWS, GRE, Invent. This is Amazon's home turf, the place where they unveil their roadmap, their partnerships, and their custom silicon. Historically, Amazon is known for being incredibly insular, pushing their own chips or leaning heavily on the market leader, NVIDIA. But this year, AMD is a diamond sponsor. That alone is a status symbol, but it's the fine print that should make you sit up and take notice. The promotional material for the event invites attendees to step into the world of generative AI with an interactive experience. Powered by AMD Instinct GPUs, read that again. Amazon, a company that does not currently use the MI300 or MI350 for their massive AI workloads, is showcasing an interactive AI demo powered by AMD's GPUs. Is this a breadcrumb trail? For years, the partnership has been strictly about CPUs, AMD's EPYC processors, powering Amazon's EC2 instances. That relationship is strong and profitable, but the holy grail has always been the GPU side of the data center. Could this event be the stage for a partnership announcement that shocks the market? If Amazon opens the door to AMD GPUs for their cloud infrastructure, the bullish thesis goes into overdrive. Of course, we must temper our expectations. It is possible that this is just a marketing activation and the status quo remains. Even in the worst-case scenario, where we only maintain the CPU dominance, the company remains in a strong position. But if the best-case scenario unfolds, a true AWS GPU partnership, it is safe to say that such a development is absolutely not priced into the stock right now. It is the wild card in the deck. While we speculate on GPUs, the war for the CPU market has quietly reached a historic milestone. On November 25th, updates regarding the fifth-generation EPYC processors revealed a stunning statistic. AMD has surpassed 40% of the server CPU market share. In the span of just a few short years, they have gone from an underdog to a titan, stealing massive territory from the incumbent Intel. The data being released now isn't just about market share, it's about performance supremacy. In direct comparisons against Intel's Xeon and, perhaps more importantly, Amazon's own ARM-based Graviton processors, the 5th Gen EPYC is posting numbers that are hard to ignore. This is a critical point because the bare thesis often relies on the ARM threat, the idea that big tech companies will just build their own chips and abandon x86 architecture. However, the benchmarks are showing that for many critical workloads, the x86 architecture from AMD is still outperforming the custom ARM solutions. There are specific workloads where the homegrown chips just don't cut it or aren't supported. This competitive landscape confirms that the CPU revenue stream is not drying up, it is fortifying. The narrative that custom silicon will kill the merchant silicon provider is proving to be premature. Despite these victories, we cannot ignore the dark clouds. There are two main forces currently driving the bearish sentiment that dragged the stock down this week. The first is a general fatigue and fear regarding the AI bubble. There is a growing anxiety that the entire industry is being propped up by unprofitable ventures, with OpenAI serving as the poster child for a fragile structure. The second, and perhaps more acute fear, is the revival of the ASIC threat. We saw news this week about Google's custom chips, which the market interpreted as a direct threat to the GPU manufacturers. The logic of the market is ruthless. If a custom chip is bad news for the market leader, NVIDIA, it is assumed to be catastrophic for the number two player, AMD. This logic suggests that if big tech builds their own hardware, they won't need to buy from anyone else. 
It's a compelling story for the bears, but it misses the nuance of innovation speed. Right now, the rate at which AMD and NVIDIA are innovating is outpacing the development cycles of internal custom chips. While the optics are bad and the fear is real, the reality is that for the foreseeable future, merchant silicon remains the backbone of the AI revolution. But until that anxiety clears, we can expect it continued volatility. Finally, let's look at what is happening in the shadows of the software stack. While everyone obsesses over hardware specs, AMD has been quietly releasing tutorials, blogs and guides that point to a future far beyond just chatbots. They are showcasing how their hardware can be used for gameplay video generation. Imagine an AI creating a video game in real time. They are releasing guides for robotics and protein folding in the healthcare sector. These aren't just cool science projects. They are strategic moves to build a moat. By educating the ecosystem and providing the tools for developers to fine-tune open-source models on AMD hardware, they are breaking the stranglehold of their competitors' software dominance. They are courting the developers, the researchers, and the innovators. It is a long-term play, one that doesn't show up in next quarter's earnings report. But it is the foundation upon which a trillion-dollar valuation is built. So, where does this leave us? We have a company that has captured 40% of the server market, is proving its AI hardware with real-world deployments like Zifra, and is potentially standing on the brink of a massive partnership announcement with Amazon. Yet, the market is fixated on fear, driving the price down on speculation and anxiety. The divergence between the price action and the fundamental reality has rarely been this wide. The events of the coming days in Las Vegas and the subsequent conferences could serve as the catalyst that snaps reality back into place. For the patient observer, the turbulence isn't a warning sign, it's an opportunity disguised as chaos. The cards are being dealt and it looks like AMD is holding a hand that the market hasn't figured out yet.